Jesus said to his disciples, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We're finally beginning to emerge from the long winter of our discontent. A winter that lasted more than a year. A time for us to be, sadly, far from embraces. 2020, the year of no hugs. That's a long time to be literally out of touch with others. I will be the vine and you In the book of Genesis, the ancient story of creation, God looks at the creature he made, Adam, and says, not good for you to be alone. So he creates a partner for Adam, Eve. And the truth in this primitive account of creation is simply this, God made us to touch. We were created to be in touch with each other, to be in touch with the world around us, and of course, to be in touch with our maker, with God. I will be the we know instinctively and intuitively that it is not good for us to be alone. We want to be connected, in touch with others, and we find this in a hundred different degrees in our relationships. We find it this morning being in touch with each other, even virtually. In touch through the sacraments. What are the sacraments? The sacraments are simply the way that faith touches us. I will offer many chances. Jesus was no stranger to all of this. He connected with a small group of 12 close friends with whom he worked and traveled day by day. He spoke often about his connection, his unity, his intimacy with his Father, and how he desired our unity with him to be as close, as intimate as his with the one who sent him to us. So live, oh, live in me. And Jesus knew, as we know, the pain of being disconnected being out of touch with those we love. He knew this especially in his last days and hours, when he knew the pain of separation, the anguish of loneliness, of being abandoned, being cut off from his loved ones. And the peace of the Lord be with you all of us. Of all the people I consider myself in touch with, where does Jesus fall on the priority list? How strong is my connection with Jesus? I will be of mine. How about all that pruning business Jesus spoke of this morning? Remember he said, my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And those that do bear fruit, he prunes. And you will be the branches. What do I need to prune away? What's sapping my energy? Are there just some elements of my life that really need to be lopped off? Oh, you believe in me. Let's remember three things. First, Jesus told us his father is the vine grower. So we can be confident that the vine grower knows what he's doing. Second, Jesus, who is the vine, wants very much for us to stay connected with him, to stay in touch with him. And third, consider the intimate connection between the vine, the branches, and the fruit. 
It's precisely this depth of intimacy that Jesus offers us. It's the intimacy of God inviting us to consume him, to consume his life and become one with him in the bread and the cup of the Lord's table. I'll never, never die. With Jesus, it's always time to embrace. It's always the season for us to embrace him whose arms are always extended, waiting and wanting to embrace each one of us.